I'll tell you something, the atmosphere in the studio today is one of those kind of, you never know what's going to happen <laughs> kind of days. You know, when you get to the office and you kind of go, this is going to be a crazy weird day. We're having but that. a fun day, but, but a fun day. <laughs> I, I promise that. Hi, welcome to the morning brew. Oh, yeah. I'm Larry Aaron's and uh, I'm your host along with co-host Aaron Muffaletto. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning. How are you? Good. Got yes. a full night's sleep last night. I feel good. Good. Great. No calls at 1 a.m. No, right? okay. no 1 a.m. calls. Everything's good. good. So <laughs> full show today. We've got lots of good uh, guests for you. Let's run down a, a, a few of the folks who'll be dropping by. You know, we like to talk about business on this show a lot. We, we think it's so important to support the local economy. Mm -hmm. And um, we like to get the story behind the story. And one of our new young business leaders is Darren Wade. Darren is uh, the general manager of a new Ford dealership in town called Power Ford. And Darren's a motivated guy. And, and he is so untypical of any car dealer that you'll ever meet. And he'll be here in a few minutes and talk about success and motivation and how things work for him down at the new Ford Ford store in town. Well, so. I'm excited to talk to him. Uh, later in the show, Terry Davis is going to be here. Terry and I go way back. Uh, he is the marketing manager for Pope Joy Hall. Uh, they're about to wrap up their Broadway season with uh, two great shows, one called Rocks, with a lot of local singers that's going to be in that this weekend. And then another show, of course, The Jersey Boys, that's coming up in May. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah that's going to be fantastic. It's so I've, great. I've seen The Jersey Boys, great show. Have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. A lot of fun. So uh, Terry will be here to fill us in on that. Uh, Justin De La Rosa with uh, Local IQ Magazine, our food guy, will be here with a special guest as well. Okay, it's time for headlines here on The Morning Brew. And The Morning Brew headlines are brought to you by Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy. Okay, where do we start? Uh, first, some great news. Let's talk about JetBlue coming to town. The inaugural fr flight arrived yesterday evening in Albuquerque. JetBlue is going to have one flight a day to New York. New York? Yeah. Let's and, all go to New York and watch, watch some Jersey Boys. <laughs> That's right. All right. And the mayor was on the inaugural flight. It arrived yesterday. It's a big deal. JetBlue, uh, they've been trying to get that airline in here for a long time. This and is great news. Finally, finally happened. So anytime that kind of thing happens, it's a, it's a good thing. Um, do we have the, the um, photograph of the, the poster? Let's bring that up now. Let's tell you about this. Albuquerque does not have a subway system. But you never know it by this subway map that has been produced. Um, you know, we're probably never going to have a subway system. That's just the way it is. We can't even get another bridge over the river. <laughs> However, it doesn't mean that we can't join the list of world cities that have a subway system map. If you go to any big city in, in the country or in the world, you'll see a subway map. Now we have our own. And they got this guy made it, uh, created a what it might look like subway map and they did a kickstarter funding on it and it's oh. totally sold out wow yeah a real neat, neat novelty well maybe not in my generation but maybe in a hundred years or so there <laughs> yeah. will be a subway we'll never see it <laughs> boy they had a, a scare yesterday there was a, a brush fire in the the bosque in the rio grande and it just is one of those things that gives you pause because fire crews jumped on it got it out right away but boy it's going to be a dry fire season coming up and it was a stark reminder of what could happen and there's uh, been a few uh, yeah. brush fires already in the bosque but a little scary we have great people to put out the fire quickly so uh the cut rate dentist el dentista <laughs> has been arrested uh it seems this guy el dentista in santa fe would see patients in his car Oh, that's, that's my dentist. Is that your dentist? Yes. I'm telling you. It's like $5 for a checkup. <laughs> he got busted yesterday, and they arrested him for, you know, all kinds of violations, like not being a dentist and things oh, like that. Yeah. Um, so as a public service here on The Morning that's Group. That's why my teeth are falling out. <laughs> that could be. I thought we'd kind of give you a rundown on some signs that you may be going to a bad dentist. <laughs> Just as a public service, for example, uh, signs you may be going to a bad dentist. The guy's dental drill, he gets it out of the glove compartment. You, you ask for Novocaine, he says, no Novocaine, tequila. 
<laughs> you notice, I'm glad this is going over well. You notice <laughs> all the dental tools come from Sears. Uh. <laughs> the x-ray machine is a Polaroid camera. <laughs> And finally, the dental assistant is a guy named Ed, and Ed has no teeth. <laughs> so, just a public service <laughs> from us to you. All right, we have, it's going to get worse, folks. Here comes, <laughs> here comes the, a video oh, that we're still talking about here in the studio. We have a guy in the Netherlands that decided he loved his pet kitty so much, when it died, he had it stuffed and made into a helicopter. Here we go. Yeah. All engine running. <laughs> now this is this is his cat, three, who two, obviously passed one, away, had it stuffed, <laughs> and, <laughs> and up he goes. The guy, we don't have his name, but the guy said, you know what? My cat would have loved this. So animal rights groups are having a I, I, I can hear in the background our phones are ringing. That must be PETA. But there he is, the <laughs> helicopter cat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I told you it was going to be a weird day here on the show. We Poor cat. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kitty. He doesn't know that he's a <laughs> helicopter. It's okay. He's having a good afterlife. <laughs> All right. Well... Uh, we, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, did we hit 80 degrees yesterday? I thought we got close, didn't we? I don't we? know if we did. I know it's pretty nice. It was, it was warm. warm. Not going to be that warm today, about 70 in Albuquerque, and the wind will be back. Hey, but, I'll take it. All right. We Thanks are so back much. in a moment with more. This would be a good time to get more coffee and uh, join us. Darren Wade will be with us here in a couple moments from the new Ford uh, uh, dealership uh, called Power Ford. Power Ford. I'll get it. And uh, we'll be back in a moment, too, with our Check Your Local IQ segment, Food Day, on the show. Stay with us. Larry Aarons with Aaron Muffaletto on the Morning Brew.